Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the lovely Miss Scarlet Fox, here to bring you Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Now, I know almost nothing about Amnesia other than it's a horror game, it's one of the most highly rated games on the marketplace, and you have Amnesia. That's, that's it, that's the three things I know about this game. So, let's get into it, shall we? The way the game is designed to be played. Enemies will spot you more easily, tinker boxes and oil are harder to come by. Autosave is disabled and saving your game costs tinder boxes, not tinker. Lose your sanity, you will, will kill you. Oh. Okay, so I guess normal then. Let's play normal. No need for hard mode when we don't even know what we're getting into. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am... Daniel. So our name is Daniel. Okay, no four things now. Was he slowly forgetting? This is an old looking game. Not that that's a bad thing. I enjoy the classics. A memento has been added to your journal. J. Press M to check these whenever you're stuck. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Aha! That liquid trail! Oh, we almost died. From the sound of it. Hold down the left mouse and move the mouse in order to move the door. Right mouse to throw the door open or shut depending on the direction you face. What is this? Picked up tinderbox. Okay. Is that a collectible thing? Diaries. No diaries are available. No notes are available. Just the memento. Which, I don't know why the memento is the objectives instead of just objectives. Ooh. This place is falling apart, dude. Do we have a concussion? Uh, that was weird. What was that? Scared, are you? Scared of a little wind? What's there to be scared of? We're not even doing anything yet. Hey, another tinderbox. Tinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current number of tinderboxes is shown in inventory. Oh, okay. That breaks? Whoa, that's some high detail. That's cool, I like that. When grabbing an object, press the right mouse to throw it, hold down R, and move the mouse to rotate the object. 
Ah. Okay. Is everything in this room? You can pick up everything. I've had enough of this. We just started the game and I've already had enough. Ah, I'm throwing the chairs in frustration. Another tinderbox. I imagine we probably want to get as many of these as we possibly can. That'll come in handy later, I'm sure. Can't just leave. Okay, that's weird. Trying to figure out which way we came from. Ah, so we must go this way. I'm gonna save my tinder boxes. We have enough lighting for now that we don't need it. What the hell? I hear somebody walking. going on? I don't understand what is happening. Was there something else there with us? Was it just wind? I want to say it's just the wind. This guy's losing his sanity, isn't he? Yeah, this guy's losing his sanity. Doors opening and shit. Doors don't open on their own. This is reminding me a lot of Layers of Fear. Except we're in a castle instead of a house. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment, or use tender boxes. Search for a light source. Okay. Cool. Nice and bright. Except I had to use a tender box to do it. Down, 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 down. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in the stomach. Hazel remained hidden. In fear, she couldn't read the rest. Alright. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Ah, shit. What the fuck? We're starting to see shit. Ah, shit. We're starting to see shit. So that's what happens when you lose your sanity, I guess, is you start to see shit. I know we can't die from insanity right now, so let's just see what happens whenever we fully lose our sanity. I'm just curious.
picked up lantern. Oh boy. Whoops. You have picked up the lantern. When filled with the oil, it can be turned on by pressing F and selecting it in the inventory tab. Aha. Uh -huh. Sanity. His head is pounding and hands are shaking. All is good. Sweet. We now have a flashlight. Not a flashlight, a flashlight. I mean, I guess you could use it as a flashlight, but that'd be a little bit hard and probably wouldn't feel as good. It's about to collapse too. How big is this castle, I wonder? Another tinder box. We go. We finally reached it. Looks like we finally reached it. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. <laughs> Interesting. So we're gonna become a murderer, huh? So now what? We're hearing something. I just don't know what that something is. I have a feeling like going backwards is not the answer. Maybe it is. Let's just double check to make absolutely certain that there's no possible way whatsoever to go forward in here. It doesn't look like there is. Oh wait, what's this? Ho ho! are these bugs? They remind me of trilobites. Oh, 
A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at... Dang it. I have no idea what's going on. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Hmm. So I'm guessing we didn't want to come here and Alexander made us come here. Hello? Is somebody else here? Is it Alexander? What the fuck is that noise? Archives? Wait, we don't want to go back to the archives. Oh, maybe we... Do you want to go back to the archives? Maybe we don't. Maybe we do. Uh... I know it wants us to go down. Ah, uh, this is exactly like layers of fear. Lots and lots of emptiness and nothing. And everything is interactable when it doesn't need to be. There is such a thing as too much interactions. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. <laughs> okay, so you're Laura Croft, basically. Here we go. That was difficult. Studium. What the fuck? Nada. Must touch everything. Ooh. See? It pays to touch everything. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. 
It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was <laughs> trapped. That's not good. Is that where we are now? In the giant stro stone structure in the middle of the dunes? Even though this isn't sandstone, this is marble. Fuck. Uh, what the hell? Let's get some sanity going. Hello? I feel like this is the way to go in the sense that this is to progress the story. So I'm going to go back out of the archives and just, I don't know, or maybe it's not the way to go. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. What the hell? There's blood on that rock. Oil! The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, cool. Hello? You're not allowed to play the piano. No piano playing. No music. This is an anti-music castle. This is a no fun castle. Another piano. There's no oil left in the lantern. You need to find an oil potion. It's locked. Door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Let's get our sanity back up. I'm trying to figure out how to leave the um how to leave the archives to go back to where we were to go down that hill that or that staircase that we didn't go down. Entrance hall. It was done. The man the men said the tomb had been revealed. Tin Hanan awaits. Yeah, in here. So we need to go down there. 
but we also need to explore over here. Fleshy goriness, great. You won't let us go. <laughs> Yay, we have oil again. Aha, so you can have multiple oils. Cool. Laboratory. Oh, so we can just go anywhere. Okay. Wine cellar. So this is like the central area then. You're gonna come back here a lot. Alright, let's just go down. Aha! See? It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to re the refinery. Can it be dissolved? You can't just crawl under it? Why can't you just crawl under it? It doesn't make any sense. Guess back to the archives we go. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. While the cavern moved, the land appeared motionless. But in the camp, the hills moved. Continuing on. Another chest. No, oh, we must have already opened that chest. East Wing, Western Hall. I thought that it was one of those things like you click on it and you get transported there. Not going out that way. Must find a new way out of this area. Well, that's just great. What was that? I don't get to read it? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground. Gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. 
unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Kingdom of Prussia. Central Prussia. Quite an interesting relic. I guess to further the idea that it's unworldly. Can I open this now? I wonder if I can, like, break it by throwing stuff at it. Nope. Okay, then. If I can't get out, then... Is this like a death point? Did I die? I wonder if there's another lever somewhere. Is this a tinderbox? This is clearly the way to get out. I just don't know how. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. This is sticking out. Is this a door? Is the lever in here? Wait a minute, can I crawl up here? And get out that way? No? Oh, fuck me. Where do I go? Damn it. At least we can jump in this game. Jump pretty high, actually. Can we go out the window? Why do I keep hearing a snake? I don't know, man. There must be some other control I'm missing. This is the worst part about horror games is you don't know what you're supposed to do. And you just spend hours and hours searching for the right thing. Not sure what you're supposed to be done. Ah. Nothing? Nada? Well, fuck me, man.
so how the fuck do I remove this then? I really don't know. Maybe you were supposed to lose total sanity? Because it said something about sanity progresses the game. Wait a minute. I don't think we searched this desk. Or this. It's just a bunch of maps? Great. Just wonderful. We just use two tender boxes now. Great. I don't know, man. Do I have to look this up already and I'm on the first episode? I'm already stuck and I'm on the first episode. Well, that just sucks. Let's see if we can throw a chair at it and if that'll work. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. I had the right idea, just the wrong objects. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. Interesting. Must find a new way out of this area. There is some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Okay, wait a minute. That's doing something. I don't understand. Draft and a faint light are coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Any other books? Is there a third one that I'm supposed to find? I think there's a third one somewhere. Aha! Found it! There we go. Yay! 
Yay, I did it! Aren't you proud of me, guys? I did it. Woohoo! Well, nothing really scary that much yet. A key! Oh, shit! Well, door's open. You can have the chair. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Willem and his fools have endangered my research long. Long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Willem and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Okay, there's more. There's more. Go back. No, this... There's an arrow downward. Alright, that's just weird. All right, that's just weird. Doors open. How do I get this? Note. I can't even read it. It's so small and far away. Looks like they put it in upside down. We're already in here, right? Pretty sure we're already in here. It won't budge. What the fuck? You guys saw that, right? There's a person there. Do I even want to know? I'm not sure I want to know. Have we been over here yet? I don't know that we... Yeah, we have. That man must be closing my doors. Entrance hall. Upstairs. Oh no, we are upstairs. Okay. So my health is now hurting. All is good? Oh, okay. Never mind. All is good. Is this the wine cellar key? It must be. Let's go to the lab. The laboratory. just changed. Didn't it? I thought it just... It's breathing? Something's there that's breathing.
the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained with the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Ah, the down arrow is to exit. That's what the down arrow is. There should be more Kubrak. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Fortis. Okay. Starting to remember some things. Chemistry pot. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lacked the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given and the culprit binds bind them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic issue reacts, organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so I guess that'll open up the, um, the front door, or the back door, or the downstairs basement, whatever. You know what I mean. The one area that's covered with fleshy bits. Alright, next up is the wine cellar. the key on the door to unlock it. Tack reads wine cellar. How do I use the key? Ah. There we go. Sweet. is near stay out of sight and hide in darkness make sure to turn off your lantern if possible is there an enemy nearby is he up the stairs is he above us thanks for the rocks is there something i'm supposed to break with these Need more oil. There we go. What 
What is there to find down here? That door just closed on its own. I'm pretty sure that door just closed on its own. Talamite. Guess we found the right thing. Sandy is now dangerously low. Stay right here, close to the light. There we go. Dot dot dot. Tinkering. Tinkering with some switches, I see. So we can no longer go out the way we came. Right? I thought it was here. Wasn't the door here? What happened to the door? Do we go up? Must go up. That's what I'm guessing, anyways. What I saw a torch over here. No, no torch. We go. I'm guessing that's not supposed to be it. That's not the way. What about like getting zero sanity? Ah, that's the door. Hold down left mouse while moving the with the left stick to push. This shouldn't be. Press right mouse for a strong push. There we go. All right. I think this is the first game where, like, you're actually moving objects yourself and it's not just on a track to, like, get to the other side to move stuff out of the way. I'm starting to see why that's why that is. Go down. Come on. There we go. That was painful. You can go over there. 
And you can open up. Okay. We did it. Woohoo. I still don't know what I'm supposed to find down here. Uh, hello? Something is down here with us. Alexander's a piece of shit. Willem's last words. My name is Willem, House of Garage. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed Knight of the Order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract were, was sorted, and the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I have been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brindenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment of our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel inside. I feel my insides revolt against their God given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer. Damn. Picked up Aqua Regia. Alright, so now we can do the dissolving. Cool. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been the love of Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment on the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.